know. I'm not sure if it would be for me, to be honest with you. And that's what you get. They look amazing. It's a really cute building to come and see. Is London the greatest city in the world? I don't know, I'm a little bit biased, but I think it's definitely in the top, maybe the top five. Do you agree? But again, I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of London in this countdown to spring. This is the first episode, guys, or maybe the second, if you count last week's video. If you haven't seen last week's, go and check it out. But yes, I am down on the River Thames and I'm gonna take you on one of my favorite little walks. So if you had 60 minutes in London for a walk, this is probably where I'd suggest you go. Now, it is not quite spring. Maybe it's when you're watching this, but it's getting warmer. And 2024, for me, the first month didn't count. But the rest of the year, I am going to be, let's put the sunnies on, being out and about, getting our steps in, and trying to adopt some healthy habits, at least 90% of the time. But make sure you are subscribed, because we have some exciting things, two videos a week, from this week, from next week. And I'm going to be showing you bits of London, museums, galleries, out and about, um, what else? Restaurants, afternoon teas, shopping. Maybe we're gonna hunt for the best Easter egg. So stay tuned. I haven't been down here in absolutely ages, but I always think it is a nice place, even when it's raining and there's often a Christmas market here. So if you're coming later in the year, do check it out. But this area, I think it's pretty epic. The architecture is stunning. This glass ceiling is so cool. And this art piece here, it's from, I think it says 1987. Look at this boat, it's very, oh, what's the word? Punk steam? I know that's not, but it's, it's giving that. And look, there's like these little like duck things that are sailing the boat. There's a few pennies in there, but not many. But yeah, I think this is a really cool uh, piece of art. And during the weekends, there are more market stalls. But there's kind of like indoor outdoor, that's the thing, because you're in the UK, you are covered over. It's very cute in here and it's good. Got, I can smell wafts and mini pancakes and churros here, guys. <gasps> Yum. I mean, it's almost spring. Maybe the Alpine Lodge is just staying. They're probably making so much money. But yeah, a good start. And we are stone's throw from London Bridge Tube Station. And there's lots of little shops on the way, all the way around. Oh, German sausage and toasties, yum. Sadly, cheesecake and crumble is closed. But as I pan over, you get quite the epic shot of the city. Wow. Oh, these tiles are cute. Views of the London Bridge at night. Oh, from the... 15th century, but it looks very, very different now. And yes, this is the city. I used to work this way. I actually hated working in the city. Um, but the white building there, I'm gonna point, eek, is the walkie-talkie building. And up the top there, eek, I do have a vlog on it. Oh, I will try and link it below. There is a free observation tower. So if you're looking for a free thing to do in London, check it out. And I've just noticed over here, that is a balloon exhibition. We might go there, but when I looked, it was like 38 quid per person, which I think is a bit steep. But let's have a look over to our right. We have HMS Belfast, which is a museum, which you can go in. I went when I was a kid, maybe we should add that to the list. But peeking at the side there, we do have the Tower of London and also Tower Bridge. We are here. We are on the south side of the river and uh, we're gonna get a little bit of a view of the Tower Bridge. Not London Bridge, guys. That is further down and very unexciting. You will be disappointed. And we have Fergie to thank for that because she did a music video under Tower Bridge and now everyone in the world seems to think that London Bridge is Tower Bridge, but it ain't. And also you can visit Tower Bridge and walk across the top. I think it's about 11, 12 quid now. I do have a video on that as well. So we're gonna head along the river through South Bank and then eventually get to Westminster. And I'm so happy because it is a beautiful mild day. And very quickly, if you're new to my channel, I'm Hannah, I live in London and I like to do touristy bits. I like to go shopping all the time. I like to show you food places and generally a bit of lifestyle in London. So if that is your cup of tea, do stick around. Oh, a very low helicopter. It doesn't really come out on camera, but yes, there's the reveal guys. That's London Bridge. It's not very exciting, is it? It's actually really ugly. I always get so many comments from people being like, oh, Hannah, we went to London and um, yeah, London Bridge sucks. And I'm like, okay, it, it, it does suck a little bit, but it's definitely very, it just looks like a load of rock really, to be honest, a bit of concrete. Um, Tower Bridge is definitely the one. But as you've seen, there is a walkway along all of the south side and most of the north side of the River Thames. So if you want to get your steps in like we are today, you can do so. And there's quite a few pubs along the way as well. And they're quite cute. Yeah, it's a bit ugly, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's head on. There are beautiful things to see. And above London Bridge Station, pretty much, is the Shard. That is a really good visit. Would definitely recommend. That makes my legs go weird, even looking up. Right, let's not get run over. Don't cross the roads how I cross them, by the way, in my videos. D uh, yeah, don't do that. 
and there's one of the Uber boats by Thames Clipper. It costs a few quid, I can't remember how much it is, um, but it's a nice way to see the city. I prefer to do it on foot, but we're going to loop around here because here is where Borough Market is. And we're going to walk all the way down here. Maybe we'll get some food. All oh, the sun is shining, but let's head on down to Borough Market. We have time. It's an hour's walk, but I'm going to add a few little stops on. It's half turn. Um, try and see if we can get some food. But I love all like, the old little signs. Look at that. So cool. You can tell it is tourist times and the holidays. There is so much food here, guys. You will find something, whatever fussy eaters you're with, whether you're vegan or you want dairy free. There are cakes for days, bakery goods for days, meats and all sorts. We're gonna head through just quickly to the main section. I mean, I will do an entire new video in spring for like the updates and everything happening in Borough Market because it is elite and it's amazing. It's always good to come with other people because then you can try lots of things. You gotta have your patient pants on sometimes, um, but the food is incredible. I say this every time. Anyone recognize this? Bridget Jones's flat? <laughs> she had a good flat, but the market would literally drive me mad. I'm gonna attempt to pick somewhere. Oh gosh, the queues are huge. And also, it's a midweek day. They have fresh counters, so if you wanna come and get some meat, some veggies, some fruit, or some food to go. And as we go across, the famous chocolate covered strawberries, 8.50, Jesus, that's a lot of money. But there was a bit of a debate, because I think they got closed down a while ago, because it was classed as not a proper store. Uh, I don't know how they got away with it. Maybe they added some more fresh drinks, I'm not sure. Yeah, there was some issue that it wasn't like a proper, I don't know, store that was eligible to be in here and it was a bit gimmicky, but it's a popular one. 8.50 though, blimey. Now I did say at the beginning of this video, I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, especially when I'm at home. Um, I've been trying to cook my own meals. If you watch my videos where I go to different uh, food stores, you know I'm a little bit guilty of buying a lot of prepared food, but quick word from today's sponsor. You know that I don't really enjoy cooking if you watch my videos, but 2024 I've been making a conscious effort to cook quite a lot of my meals from scratch and that is where HelloFresh has come into the mix. They do all the work for me, I can't really be bothered to go to the supermarket after a day in the office and it's delivered to my doorstep in the box ready to go. I am shocked guys at how many meal ideas they have now, like protein, high, low carb, uh, there's even like air fryer friendly and a fancy gastro range if you wanna spend a few more pounds and get something a little bit special. I am a little bit weird about meat and ingredients, um, especially when it's delivered. Everything has been absolutely gorgeous and such high quality, super impressed. Also, the portions have been really generous. Cost-wise, using HelloFresh has also been better value for me. Buying all the individual items from the supermarket, I was actually finding, ended up being quite expensive. I wasn't using the full container or full packet or whatever it might be. So if you want to give it a go, I feel like it's the right time of year to kind of start this again. Use my code Ricketts for 60% off your first box and then 20% off the next two months plus an extra little gift when you do order. So you can always pause it, it's very flexible. So check it out in the link below. Back to the vlog. back here in Borough Market. I'm allowed to buy something that is freshly cooked by someone else, I think, as I am out and about. I'm gonna get some tacos from this little booth and it's gonna be basically 10 pounds for three tacos. It's kind of standard. Well, they just called order 132 and I'm 568. So I think we've got a while. <laughs> they have desserts. Oh, the Black Pig. I think I've been there before. A little seating area. Oh my gosh, it is busy today. Uh, Japanese, there's basically every type of food that you can think of, but I would say six to 10 pounds is about standard. This is where I went. It was only five minutes, so I got a pork, a beef, and a chicken. It looks amazing. Really good, I'd say about eight and a half out of 10. Watching the world go by, let's head on. Humble, crumble, this is busy, morning, noon, and night. How much are they? There you go, 6.50 or a large for eight. And that's what you get. They look amazing and obviously so many different types of fillings and toppings. Oh, there you go. There's the end of the queue for Humble Crumble. <laughs> yeah, we are above the train station. It gives very Harry Potter 
audio, I think, the noises, right. I like the sounds of the trains as it goes past, but yes, a lot of people later on in the day will walk around wines and beers and gin and tonics, so it's a very good social place to go, but I could do literally an entire video and I have on Barahat Market, right, how do I get back to the river? Down here. And as expected, there's always lots of cool architecture by the river where you can see, I guess, the old industries and where all the boats used to come in with goods and stuff, but if markets aren't your thing, there are tons and tons of restaurants along here, and like I said, pubs as well. Weather permitting, some of these outdoor places are a pretty good place to enjoy a bit of sun. And yes, this is a very touristy thing to do, but I actually love coming down here. Okay, the water is not giving tropical holiday, but you know, we, we didn't expect that. And across the way, St. Paul's Cathedral, looking epic in the sun. So with the drilling in the background, we just enjoyed a bit of Borough Market. We're gonna scoot on along here to see Shakes Beers Globe. Obviously it is a, a replica rebuild and the famous Millennium Bridge. And with that beautiful view, as I pan around, Honestly, this walk is such a good one. You've got the famous Globe Theatre, obviously not the original, I think it burnt down in like the 1700s. But yes, it was rebuilt, I think it was 1997. I've never seen anything here. Have you seen a show? I don't know. I'm not sure if it would be for me, to be honest with you. I will confess, I stayed up too late last night watching car crash compilations on YouTube. I'd like to think I'm a cultured person, but I think person, person, but I think Shakespeare is my limit. It's a really cute building to come and see. Oh, it's got fairy lights down it. Uh, I think you can do a tour as well, but let's head on. It's, I can't believe how busy it is. This is amazing. As one of those crazy fast <laughs> tour boat things goes past, this is the wonderful Millennium Bridge. It did wiggle for a while, but they fixed it. And as I weave through the crowds, I say it's good it's busy because if you ever watch my lockdown videos, which I think I've taken off now, <laughs> it was dead and I hated it. But what I'm trying to show here with the sun in the background is look at the difference in the architecture. You've got the Tate Modern Gallery, it's flipping awful, let's be honest. And then you've got some very, very old buildings. Oh gosh, I don't know what time these would have been from, but it's, I just love seeing the contrast of the architecture. And then, yeah, you do have the entrance to the guided tours and some cobbled streets, definitely wear trainers. No one cares what you look like when you're on holiday. I always have my trainers on. This is a walking city, and I do want to do these videos to show you that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to enjoy London. You can, you can. Like I said, we're going for afternoon tea, which costs an arm and a leg, um, but I like showing you freebie things too. And then another 50 yards and we are outside the Tate Modern, which honestly was probably the number one place that I used to go on a freebie afternoon out when I was a student, which was many, many, many years ago. <laughs> Let's quickly pop in here. I don't know if I'm allowed to film in here, but there are paid exhibitions as well. Coming up, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna take you to the History Museum. That is the number one visited place, apparently, and the British Museum. So let me know, where do you want to see in London? There are 10 floors, but don't worry, I'm going to show you literally like half of it. I really like the building in here. I think it's really cool. But yeah, you can come in and have a bit of a mooch if it's raining, <laughs> a breast break from the rain and see some free art. I always love the scale of everything in here. It's absolutely mammoth. Right, this has reminded me. I need to add bin liners <laughs> to my Tesco delivery. <laughs> Does it look like a bin liner? Right, let's not fall down the stairs, goodness. Are we being trolled? Like, come on. Hmm, anyway. Always a weird video. I'm telling you, always. building on the left there is part of the um, Tate Modern and it was a bit of a hoo-ha because these people here in this modern building 
They built it and everyone on the viewing platform can see into their lounges. It's quite the scandal. Also, if you have made it this far in the video, whatever this video is, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. The YouTube algorithm is brutal these days. And because I didn't vlog for probably nearly two months, um, I think people who even subscribe to me don't get to see my videos anymore. So I would appreciate it. Oh, look at the sun. There are a number of outside pubs to eat here and they're reasonably cheap because they're just normal pubs and you do get a little bit of a nice view I think. DHL boat, what the heck? I quite like Blackfriars, I like the red paint on it and yes the architecture along the other side of the river is changing, we're getting a bit kind of old school now and there's a bit of a tourist boat there, it is rammed, it sounds like a party, if you could hear it. The tunes are on but yes, oh the sun's gone in, come on, but then you do have so many buildings that are from like the 60s through to the 80s, which I don't really don't like. God, I love that mix. I love anything that's a bit red brick. And yeah, lots and lots of boats out today. Again, a little map. We started off around here and we have moved all the way around here, in and out, shake it all about. And we are here by the Oxo Tower Wharf. I didn't know it was called, called that to be honest with you. And we're gonna carry on around the Queen's Walk on the South Bank. See if there's any markets. I'm not sure if the markets are out today, but I love the red brick. You can live here. There is a rooftop re restaurant which I actually don't, I don't recommend, sorry. Um, but there's a few little shops in here. I can't believe how many people have been down by the river rather them than me. It's a bit manky, isn't it? Goodness. What, is that actual sand down there? That's wild. Ew, oh my God. Why? I don't know, maybe it's me being a Londoner. Oh God, I wouldn't touch that if you paid me. Guess what, another place to eat. <laughs> <laughs> They've got drinks to go and there's looks like there's quite a lot of shops and little restaurants and food bits down there. We have the National Theatre, which yes, is brutalist architecture. Are you a fan? And by the bar for the BFI, um, you've got this little book market, which I think is always here. I feel like that's very on brand for this video, but as expected, there's no prices on any of the books, but they've got <laughs> loads of art. If you're really into cats, there's a whole section on cats. These are priced. But yeah, you'll often find this type of thing in a London market. Maybe we'll go to Portobello at some point. How much is an Elvis LP? £25. I feel like the lighting is struggling now, but that is a nice pop of colour. This is quite a famous skate park, but the only thing is, you literally have an audience, so you kind of got to make sure you can... I don't want to film him, just in case he doesn't make it. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> People love watching skateboarding. And just passing the ice cream van, if you're wondering, a Mr. Whippy with a flake is £4.50. <laughs> I also think that there's about 450 pret a manger as we go up, but this is the South Bank Centre. There's a restaurant, and I think there's like a rooftop bar in there as well. So if that's your thing, and you may have been down here during Christmas, and there's usually a Christmas market on, which obviously is not here now. Um, it's an okay one, but I just like being by the river. And then we get to Tourist Central. <laughs> I wouldn't usually come down here, but I'm gonna carry on walking over because you can see that shadow, the very famous Elizabeth Tower, otherwise known as Big Ben. And the London Eye, which is probably a little bit backlit in that. I was saying the other day, it was only meant to be there for a few years. And it's nearly 24 years old. And always try to pre-book these things. Ooh, because it gets very busy. God, I think the queue does go quite quickly. I hope it does for everyone's sake. And I do have tickets, or a ticket, because that's all I could get for a very special tour. Coming soon-ish, maybe in a couple of months, so subscribe. <laughs> it was like getting Taylor Swift tickets. But yeah, I'm not gonna tell you exactly, but it's pretty exciting. I'm gonna say it again, guys. Do not buy anything from this ice cream van. This is the one that's just up the top of the stairs on the bridge. They charge you a fortune. It's even been on the news that that one will charge you like 50 quid for like two ice creams. And they get all the tourists and they still haven't been removed. Anyway, what a beautiful shot down towards Vauxhall. I feel like even the lampshades are quite nice around here. A bit bougie with the gold. And we're about to witness the scammers again pretending to do a little bit of a show. They all pretend that they don't know each other while they pickpocket you. So be freaking careful, people. That's a better view, isn't it? Oh, look, 
another pier, Westminster Pier, where you can pick up some of the boats. Oh, I've had my sunglasses on in all of this video, haven't I? But honestly, when I do that, I'm trying to stop my wrinkles, guys. But yes, that completes. Technically, it's an hour walk, and that's what I think you could do for free. You don't have to buy tacos halfway through like I did, um, but a really nice free thing to do in London, out and about. This little bit here though is a bit, mm, so don't judge London on that kind of 100 yards. It is a bit mental and watch out for pickpockets. But yes, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you want to see more in London, make sure you do subscribe because I've got a lot coming and the next video will be on Tuesday at 6 p.m. guys. So there'll be two videos every week, which I'm excited about. I will do that for as long as possible until I'm really tired and I can't <laughs> cope alongside my day job. But make sure also you check out the link and use my discount code Ricketts for a HelloFresh discount. Give it a go. I know you guys already know HelloFresh. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is probably do three meals a week and then still try to like learn to cook from scratch um, on those other nights and maybe one night out and a pizza here and there. But thanks for watching, guys. Come and say hi over on Instagram and I will see you in a few days time. Bye. I am under here, it's just it's really sunny. <laughs>